what was your reaction to the, the shooting in Wisconsin? Um, and what was the vibe in, in your team meeting last night in terms of what was said? And also, I guess if I could just sneak in a third one, the NBA obviously had teams deciding not to play. Could you envision that happening uh, when the season gets going in the NFL? Uh, I mean, that's something that we're going to talk about as a team. I mean, uh, I'm not going to comment on that until we do so. Uh, but, yeah, when I saw the videos, um, it's unfortunate, man. It's, it's really sad to see another senseless killing. Um, and my thoughts and prayers go out to Jacob Blake and, and his family. Oh, I mean, not a senseless killing, sorry. But a senseless shooting. How emotional of a time is this for you as, as players, though? Um, I know you don't want to speak too much on what you guys are going to do next, but how emotional is this, especially when you look around and seeing how much action the Lions, the Milwaukee Bucks, the NBA are taking? I know you guys have a plan for action, but here and now, you know, what is going through your heart and your mind? Yeah, man, I mean – like I mentioned to you guys last time I was on here, I mean, I kind of use football as an escape. And, you know, it's been real hard to use it as an escape when you see what's going on around in the world. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as far as what we're going to do and the steps that we're going to take next, um, you know, that's something that we're in, in discussion about. And, um, you know, it, it's sad that we have to take the time away from football and preparing for a season that is coming up here pretty soon um, to talk about these things, you know, another senseless shooting um, that's happened. And um, it's sad that it has to be that way. But uh, yeah, as far as what we're going to do next, you know, I'm going to want to talk to my teammates and the leadership group and the coaches and, and we're going to come up with a plan. And I know you pl are planning a lot of work and have been in the community, Yeah. but do you think something like boycotting a game um, you know, like everything is on the table, including something like that, because of the severity of the situation in the country. Do I what? Do I think boycotting a game is, is possible? Yeah, like is that on the table as an option, as far as what you're discussing for what? Like kind of I said, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk to the team, and uh, we'll come up with something, and that's a, that'll be that whenever we come out with that. Thanks, Duggan. Hey, Shep, uh, I know you're involved in that video this summer, and uh, I think you guys seem like you're pleased with sort of how Goodell responded. Like, what do you want to see from the league? Because obviously they're not in law enforcement. So, like, what do you want to see um, you know, the league do to, I guess, satisfy you? I don't, I don't know how to word that. You know what I'm saying? What do I want to see the league do for us? As yeah, far as the video, I feel like it, it, got a, it got a great response, and we, um, and we got what we were looking for. Um, in a way, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, as far as now, I don't, I don't really know uh, how to answer that question. I don't know what, what do you what do I want them to see? Well, I'm just saying, what role do you think like a sports league can play in like impacting change? Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a big platform, man. Um, so we can make a huge impact on on whatever we do. I mean, as players and as a league. So uh, you know, using that platform, just use it. Yeah, sorry for butchering the wording on that question on the first go-around. No, it's, it's all good. Rob, yeah, has there been much communication uh, between teams uh, among the leaders for, throughout the league? Have you guys gotten together and, and, and talked about what you wanted to do maybe all as one group, or is it is it pretty much team by team right now? Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't spoken with anyone, but I, I don't know about uh, some of the other guys within our locker room. Uh, I don't know if they've been speaking to other guys or not, but uh, me personally, no. Do you feel like you have? Do you feel like you have John Mara's ear? He, I know he's been involved in some of these discussions. I mean, he's been yeah, he's been great. Um, you know, letting the team talk and uh, really come up with a plan. So uh, that's what we're in the process of doing, and uh, we're going to talk about it as a team again. Um, and uh, he he's been great and uh, very supportive of all of us. Hey, Shep, I wonder how much have you guys talked about? I mean, all these other teams. Uh, canceling practice today and, and what your thoughts are on the I know that's not your decision and this team's decision but on seeing that around the league yeah I'm not uh, gonna comment on on what our what our thoughts are what you, you guys will find out whenever we uh, decide to do whatever we're gonna do from a football I'll ask you an actual football question uh, 
you know, you've seen this offense. You know what Saquon's skills are and what his ability is. What kind of damage – I mean, we saw what Zeke did in this offense. What, what kind of damage can Saquon do? Uh, Saquon's going to be Saquon, man. Um, you know, he, he's a tough runner. Uh, you know, he's, he's a very elusive runner, so I expect him to be him um, in, in any offense. Hey, Shep, uh, another one football-related um, – what was that conversation like with Joe Judge there when you tossed the ball about 30 yards, but then he kind of asks you to go get it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it would have been a 15-yard penalty in the game, and that's what he, he told me, and, you know, I thought about it, and that is true. So, uh, you, know, you make a big play in practice, you tend to do stuff that you might not do in a real game, but uh, that's stuff that we have to keep in mind, and sometimes emotions um, get high in the game, so. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta think about those things before I do. I mean, is it tough to swallow your pride as a guy who's been in the league several years, kind of like being instructed to do something like that? I mean, it's got to be different. No, nah, man, you gotta, you gotta take coaching and and every way, shape, or form. So, um, you know, I need somebody to stay on me. Uh, you never got it figured out, and that's something that we learned in our team meeting um, yesterday. I mean, you can be a ten-year vet um, and think you have everything figured out, but uh, you really don't. So um, keeps you grounded. And uh, I appreciate having a coach like Coach Judge. I have a question. Last week, uh, the NFL announced there were 23,000 COVID tests for players and zero positives. I'm wondering if you're impressed with how serious the guys are taking it. And if there was some point at some point maybe in March or April when season was going to happen and now here it is two weeks away yeah I, that last part it cut out but um yeah I'm um I'm very pleased to see the numbers and um you know seeing zero cases as far as the players go um you know that's that's reassuring and um hopefully it stays that way hopefully everybody still does their part whenever the season starts um and, and we can we can get through the season clean and, and safe and healthy